welcome to Wake Up Wednesday with Sharon and Natalie. Oh my gosh, are we going to have fun today? Oh, I tell you, <laughs> I promised you that I would do part one, the AM skincare step by step by step and demonstrate it to you as well as put a chart down below. Now we're going to start with AM PM today. I mean the AM today, PM next week. Okay girls, so this is going to be a total blast. You won't have to take a lot of notes because you can download. Click on the link down below and download the chart. And then you'll have what you need. And some of this can vary if you know what I mean. But first of all, for those of you that are brand new to my channel today and to Wake Up Wednesday, welcome! And scroll on down and hit that subscribe button. And then see that little bell? Go ahead and click the bell. It'll notify you of all my upcoming videos, okay? I generally film on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So ladies, we are getting ready to do our thing. Now if you want to take notes in between, feel free to do that, okay? Okay, first things first, let's talk about this. We're going to wash our face, okay? I wash my face with the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. All right, and I just did a regular wash. You can use any wash of your choice. Remember, it doesn't have to be fancy or expensive because you only have it on for 30 seconds. Also, there is a Korean brand that is very, very nice if you like a foam cleanser, and that's Hada Lobo. I don't use that a lot because I don't really care for foam cleansers that much. Uh, CeraVe for normal to dry skin, gray cleanser. You can also go, and this is one of my very favorites, is the Guerlain cleanser. It's very milky, creamy. I like anything that's creamy, soft, luxurious. Now that's why I like the Cetaphil because it is for scent more gentle skin and it's all nice and gooey eyes like that now i go over my face again washing it but this time i took my tasha polished enzyme shook some into my hand like this poured a few drops of water worked it up comes into a big lather nice and creamy lather then i rubbed it all over my face just like i was washing it again okay that's what you do. Just rub it, rub it, rub it. Remember, it's got to go down in the decollete. Okay, just rub it, rub it, rub it all over. Then I take a warm washcloth and gently wash all that off my face. Wipe everything off. Gently. Do not be rough on your skin because chances are the night before you've used Retin-A, let's not upset the apple cart, okay? Then the next thing we want to talk about now that it's all nice and washed, we want to tone. I recommend the L'Oreal Hydra Fresh Alcohol Free Toner. The reason being is it's inexpensive, it feels soft to my skin, there's no burning, there's no irritation. You can get it at Amazon, you can get it at the drugstore or whatever, okay? So what I do with my toner, take a cotton pad, okay, wet it and go all over my face with the toner, bring in that skin, pH back to normal, because we just upset the apple cart with the barrier by washing it, right? And then doing the light exfoliation. And I mean take this all down to your decollete and your neck, okay? Now your skin is going back to its normal pH. It is okay if it is still damp. We're going to start the next step. And the next step is essence. Now you have, bear with me through this because I do my essence a lot different. I have chosen today the SK2 or the Tasha, either one. These are my top favorites of all. Where, when I say favorites, it's where I actually see a plumpness and a difference, all right? So I'm gonna go with the SK2, okay? I shake some in my hand, it's a watery substance. Remember, an essence is supposed to bring your skin, prepare it for your serums and your products. It is extra layers of hydration. 
Okay, that's what it does. It's extra layers of hydration, and you want all the layers of hydration you can get. That's what keeps the glow going, and that's what helps the products penetrate. Now, that was one. I'm going to do essence again, a second step, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pat it all over. The patting motion pushes it deep into the skin, plus it gets the blood circulating and plumps up the skin as well. I love essences. Listen, there's nothing in the world better than an essence. Now, that was the second step. I'm going to do a third step with my essence again. Now, sometimes I do up to five. It depends on what I'm doing, how much time I have. But I always do at least three. Because all the hydration, the more the better, girlfriends, okay? Okay. And there again, you can tap. Pat, 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 pat. Okay, let's say we stop at three. Like I said, you can go to five. The more, the better, okay? All right. All right. Our next step is to give the essence just a minute. You can see already there's kind of a flush to my face. Already I'm noticing, a, you know, kind of a glow coming through. Can y'all see a glow coming through? Let's hope you can, okay? Now, before I add my vitamin C, I'm going to go ahead and put on my eye cream ahead of time. I use the Revision DEJ. The reason I use this product is because I can run it over my eyelids and it's been helping with the crepiness like you would not believe. The only eye cream I found that can actually do something with the crepiness. Alright, so I'm going to squirt a little out on my ring finger here. I'm going to rub these two fingers together. Warm up the product. Pat, 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 pat. And I'm going to start applying here up by the brow bone on my eyelids and I'm going to tap gently on the eyelids it doesn't take much this stuff lasts forever because just one squirt will do it it goes a long way and it goes fast okay so I've got my eye cream on that's done for the day the next step that I am going to move to is my SkinCeuticals Vitamin C with Ferulic Acid. SkinCeuticals, okay? All right. <laughs> Y'all know I love SkinCeuticals. I mean, it's the best. It wouldn't. All right, now it's time for the Vitamin C. So I'm going to take maybe one, two, three, well, let's say four drops. Three will probably do it. I'm going to put that vitamin C all over. I don't go right up under the eye. I go to the orbital bone. Because vitamin C could burn your eyes. I go down my neck. I push down in my decollete. Around towards the back. Okay, now, usually I give this 15 minutes, all right? I go brush my teeth, or I may answer some comments, or it's whatever I choose to do, okay? Now, let's say that we have waited the 15 minutes, because with vitamin C, you want to give it time to work. You don't want to rush it by any stroke of the imagination. It's really important part. What I can do while I am waiting just a few minutes is to tell you what we're going to do next. The next step is going to be that I am going to put on my hyaluronic acid. This is HA5 hyaluronic acid. Now remember what I told you. True, pure hyaluronic acid is not watery. No, no. Hyaluronic acid is actually kind of a little thicker, gooier product. That is why I love this product. Now this is by Skin Medica. A couple of pumps. 
and I press. I press on top of my eye because hyaluronic acid is hydrating, obviously. Go down the neck, decollete, and I push it into my skin. Push it around my eyes. Now I give that just a minute to sink in. You can even feel it working. I love skincare because your face, you can feel every product you put on there. If you're using good products and if you're doing it right, you can feel them going in. I mean, you can. You can actually feel something, not a tingling even. It's more like a pulsating. Oh, it's just so lovely, girls. All right, your last big medical grade product that you're putting in is the TNS serum. Remember, one chamber is all the peptides you will need. Every peptide you can imagine is in the one chamber. The other chamber is your growth factor. When I show you in a minute, the cream is the peptide, the gel is the growth factor. See the double chambers here? All right. Do you see that? Now, you just need one squirt, press. I do go under the eyes with this, I go on top. There again, I go down the decollete, all around the neck, push, push, push this product. Oh, I love that. That's the big kahuna, but it works. Now I'm really feeling good. I'm feeling sassy now, okay, girls? Yes, I am. All right. The next thing I want to do after I wait a minute or two after that, I'm going to start putting my moisturizer on to seal everything, okay? Before I do that, I'm going to take my Revision Nectar Firm. This is a product that I have been using for years and years, and you don't need that much. You need about that much on your finger, okay? And I go up my neck with it. It's a neck cream by Revision. It is fabulous. If you happen to go on to Anne Marie's channel, she did a before and after of her neck after she used it. There are many of us that have, and I love this. I use this both day and night one time. Now, is it going to totally give you a neck lift? Of course not. But is it going to help? Yes, it does help. Now, I'm about ready to start applying my moisturizer. So, I'm going to use my Tasha moisturizer. You can use CeraVe. You can use any type of moisturizer you have. Remember what I told you, the moisturizer is just to seal everything in and to add moisture. It's not going to make you plump. It's not going to do anything to your skin other than it's another layer of hydration, moisture. I'm just going to take my little gold spoon here because it sure doesn't take much, about that much. Put in my hands. I want to get all of it too. Rub my hands together, and this goes a long way, and I mean a long way, because it doesn't take much, and it spreads very, very fast and very, very easy. All right. So, my ladies, that is the AM skincare. Understand one thing when I say this is the morning skincare, this is Monday through Friday's morning skincare. Things start changing on Saturday and Sunday, which next week when I do the PM evening care, you'll understand what I'm talking about because I will cover the rest of exfoliation in there and I will be covering a lot of the masking in there 
but for the most part, this is what I do. Now remember, I do my red nail on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. It's when I use my retin-A. So that's where you're going to notice things changing on certain evenings, per se, and maybe some the day after, blah, blah, blah. You want to be careful after you've used your retin-A at night not to wake up in the morning and go full force on glycolic acid or anything. That's going to cause a big mess, dry out your skin. It's going to become sensitive. You're going to have all kinds of rashes. and Don't do that. Lightly exfoliate through the week. Wait till the weekend to do your big kahunas. But definitely you need to exfoliate every day in some form or fashion, which I did a video on that. So if in doubt, go over and check out that video. So this is my AM routine Monday through Friday. Okay? On Saturday mornings, what I will do, if it depends on what my day is going to be like. If I have a lot of errands to run or shopping to do or something, get out, I do the same thing. But when I get back home later in the afternoon or the evening, I peel everything off. Do you see what I'm saying? Starting something different. Now, another thing is sometimes on Saturday mornings, what I do, I'll use my P50 and then wait a little bit till it dries and the smell dissipates, <laughs> then I can put all of my regular serums and skin care on top of that and my makeup and go. So that is perfectly all right because the P50, remember, is good for two times a day. However, I'm not encouraging that if you're not used to it. All right, you have to get used to it first. So I would encourage using it like Saturday morning and after you cleanse and after you tone your face and do not use the essence go straight to the p50 after you wash and tone and then apply your makeup forget the essence that morning if you're going to use the p50 follow me same way as if you decide to use the p50 you know sunday morning that's up to you when you want to use the p50 you can stick with evenings or you can stick with mornings or you could do both on the weekends. And when I say both, I'm talking about use the P50 in the morning and you could use it in the evening before you go to bed. That is going to be up to you and basically your routine for your Retin-A. So I hope that helped, ladies. I hope this answered a lot of your questions. I don't think I've forgotten anything here, but it's as easy and simple as that. If you've timed this video, you can see how fast and easy it is. Now... I got to go get my sunscreen, put it on, and start applying my makeup. So I'll catch y'all in a little bit. Well, ladies, I hope that helped you with your routine. So glad you could join me today. Love each and every one of you. You know that. And to all my new subscribers, mwah, 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 I just love you, girlfriends. Can't wait to know you better. Everything is a big party over here, okay? So join us. Now, I want to let each and every one of you know that we got to hook them up over to Natalie's. See what Natalie's got in store for us, okay? And for those of you that aren't, you know, subscribe to Natalie. I've got her link down below. Click on her link, okay, girlfriends? And I want to thank each and every one of you, and I'll be looking forward to next week to our evening skincare as well. But in the meantime, have a fabulous weekend. I love each and every one of you. And I want you to stay sassy, classy, confident, and give me a big thumbs up on this video.